Hi everyone, welcome to the channel, or welcome back if you're a returning watcher. I'm George, I'm the Good Lad Gamer, and as you can see, the portal is glowing yellow, which can only mean one thing, it's a times two on Sacred Shards. I have loads of Sacred Shards at the moment, I've got 34 on my Galek account, and I've got about 30 on my Kale account, but I'm too scared to pull them all, just in case I need them for a fusion or a fragment in the future. So I'm going to be pulling about 10 on each one, and hopefully we can get some good legendaries on the way. Let's get into it. But before I get into pulling shards guys, if you enjoy my content and want to see more of it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Subscribing makes a huge amount of difference to me. I've currently got about 200 subscribers, which is ludicrous for me to say. I never thought that many people would want to watch my videos. But if you enjoy my content and want to see me make more of it, like the video, subscribe to the channel, let me know that I'm doing something good. So here we are on the Galek account. I'm going to be pulling 10 shards on each one of my accounts. We've got a times two, but we also have a times 10 chance of pulling this guy, Alatrian Blade Master. So he's one of the Blade Masters from the, uh, from the Monster Hunter guys that have come into it. I've got the fusion. I've got the login reward champion from this sort of batch so it'll be really nice if we got him just so we could get a third one just uh just so just so we've got them i guess uh, i don't know if we're going to be able to pull them from shards in the future uh maybe this is our only opportunity i haven't read that much into it uh but they do seem like quite good champions so it'd be quite nice to get him on the way so without further ado let's get into it Shard number one, I'm going to pull 10 on each. Hopefully we can see some nice legendaries. Maybe we can get some legendaries that are going to help us in the Cursed City, because I am really struggling with the Cursed City. Um, I definitely need some more blessings. I might need to start farming up the uh, the Iron Twins again. So on the first pull, we've got Bushy, an epic, not interested, although I think he's seen some action recently in the Cursed City. And a legendary second pull. And it's a Robar. Okay, interesting. Uh, as always on my on my shard pool videos, guys, I will go through any legendaries kit that we get. So give me a second. Let me just make sure I'm sort of sufficient in what I'm reading here, and then I'll go through his kit with you guys. So Robar actually has a, a really basic kit. So on his A1. When ascended, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn, grants an extra turn if this, if this debuff is successfully, successfully placed. So if he places the stun, he gets two hits on or two turns on the enemy target. On his A2, attacks all enemies. Each hit has a 75% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense for two turns. And on his A3, attacks all enemies. Damage increases if the target is under any of these debuffs. And then on his aura, he has uh, accuracy by 50 in faction crit. So that's Robar. He got a buff, actually, uh, probably at the start of last year. Maybe it was earlier than that. Um, and he actually became quite a viable champion. He does actually hit really hard. I'm not sure how hard. I'm not sure sort of in comparison to other hard-hitting champions. But he definitely for sure hits hard. I've seen him used in Arena. Uh, he's not a bad champion to go for. So pretty happy with that. And he's a brand new one to my account. So that's very interesting. On to the next one though. We've seen Robar. He's a good champion. I don't know if I'm going to build him out, but he is a good champion. I was just saying before, Bushy's seen some action in Iron Twins, actually, in the Cursed City, because it's one of the stages that people are really struggling with, um, and Bushy has been used. He was the epic on the first pool. We've got an Elfrig, not interested in Elfrig, never seen him be used unless it's for a joke, so I'm just going to move on. And another legendary, a Septimus. That is interesting. I will take a Septimus for sure. Sentimus is a one of the decrease no he's one of the damage based on enemy max hp champions and he's probably well he used to be the best one in the game until champions like Acrisia came along he was the best champion for that in the game and, until she came along so he's also got a really basic kit like robar so on his a1 when ascended attacks one enemy grants an extra turn and resets the cooldown of this champion's holy sword skill if the target is killed and then on his a2 the Holy Sword skill, attacks one enemy, will ignore shield and block damage buffs, increases according to enemy, uh, enemy max HP, and then on his passive, each attack has a 30% chance of increasing the duration of all buffs on this on the target by one turn, damage inflicted by each attack increases by 30% if the enemy's current HP is over 50, and then on his aura he's got 23% uh, attack in all battles. So 
Septimus, I actually use, I, I did use a hell of a lot on my other account, on my Kale account, and he was my big go-to champion for doing damage. So it's really interesting for me to have him on this account. Maybe I can build him out and he can replace one of my enemy max HP champions, but he hasn't got as much in his kit as someone like a Cold Heart, for example. Um, so he does sort of fall off because of that, but he is an absolute huge damage dealer. And Hell Hades did a video back in the day when he first got him, where his A1 was an absolute shotgun and he used him to wipe out teams in arena. So maybe he will see some action through that on my account. On to the next one though, we've got two legendaries. Oh, I'll take that as a win. That is good going for me. Uh, I'm not used to this sort of luck. Uh, an Anax, an Epic, and a good Epic at that, has Poisons, has Decreased Damage, Decreased Attack, and Decreased Defense, I think. A third Legendary, what is going on? Uh, Dro... Drokol, Drokol, the Gaunt. Uh, I've actually seen this champion being used quite a lot in the Curse City as well. I, thi I think it's this champion. We'll go through his kit. He was a Fragment or a Fusion once upon a time, and I don't think I got him. So I think that's a brand new champion on this account. So attacks one enemy, has a 20% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. On his A2, places a increased attack and increased defense on all allies for two turns. Also places a block damage buff for one turn on all allies with less than 30% HP. And then on his... A3 places a shield buff equal to 15% of this champion's max HP on all allies for three turns. Heals each ally by 15% of this champion's max HP whenever a shield buff placed by this skill expires, is removed, or is broken by an enemy attack. When a shield is broken, the heal occurs instantly before any remaining damage from the shield breaking attack is taken. Will also counterattack the enemy that breaks the shield. That's the only difference when ascended. And then on his aura has 25% HP in all battles. So I think I've seen this champion being used quite a lot recently. Uh, I'm not 100% on that, but he's always a good champion to have. It's always good to have more legendaries in your roster. So I'll take that as a win. On to the next one though. Three legendaries. I can't believe this is happening. I've never had such good luck on Sacred Shard Pools. I am... I'm uh, ecstatic about that. Uh, Basilisk, another champion that's being used for Iron Twins in the Cursed City, I think, because him and Bushy, Basilisk and Bushy, both have a Revive on Death skill. So if you can get the speed tune right, then they can revive every time the Iron Twins kill them, and then they can keep doing damage, and it just goes on forever until the Iron Twins are dead. Doom Priest, a great champion. I use Doom Priest in both uh, both accounts, clan boss teams. I've got unkillable clan boss teams on both. Uh, and I use Doom Priest on both of them. And Corgan, the crowned, uh, a sort of rubbish speed increaser, I think. I don't really know what he does. On to the next one, though. I think we must be coming up to 10 shards by now, I think. Jingle Hunter, not interested. Moving on. That is the full 10. Three legendaries on my Galek account. I can't believe that. What is this luck all about? I've had great luck recently. So Septimus, a brand new champion. And Drockle. 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 Drockle, a brand new champion. And who was my other legendary? I can't even remember now. The Orc, Robar. So three brand new legendaries to my Galek account. I would say that's pretty good luck. What we'll do, I'll go onto my other account and we'll do exactly the same over there. And here we are on the Galek account. We're going to do exactly the same thing and hopefully we get the same luck because I'll take another three legendaries on this account. I'll, I'll take that. Six legendaries in one video would be lovely. Lady Atessa, an epic, not interested. Moving on straight away. I'm not even going to talk about her. Not going to give her the time of day. Another epic. I'm going to get no luck on this one. That's what's going to happen. Sinesha, great champion if paired with Skull Crown. User in a blender team for, for, for Arena. I, I did that for a long time on my Galek account. Uh, Ursine, Ice Crusher, another epic. Not interested. A legendary. Another epic. It's going to be all epics on this one. I ran out of luck. Morag, Bronze Lock. Moving on. Oh no, I'm getting a horrible feeling. Kitis? Kitis. Kits? Kits? Kitis, let's go with that. On to the next one though, not interested in epics. Come on, at least one, there we go. 
Oltan the Shell. Oltan the Shell. Let's look at his kit together. So, on his A1, attacks... I don't know anything about Oltan the Shell, but I have heard people talking about a Oltan. But I think there's another champion with a very similar name in the Barbarians, potentially, that was matched with Jotun, I think... Or maybe they came out around around the same time, and I can't quite remember that. But one of them got a lot of hate from the community. So I don't know if it's this guy. But let's read his kit, uh, and let's just see what, what he's all about. So, attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 30% chance of placing a decreased defense buff for two turns. Each hit will also ignore 50% of the target's resistance if Oella is on the same team. If the target is under increased defense buff each hit has an 80 percent chance of removing it each effect cannot be resisted okay so he doesn't need accuracy in his kit at all potentially to remove the increased defense and he also gets a, a sort of buff on his accuracy i guess you would call it so that's his A1. On his A2, removes all debuffs from this champion, heals this champion by 20% of their max HP for each debuff removed. Then places a shield buff on this champion for two turns. The value of the shield is equal to any surplus heals from this skill. Finally, attacks one enemy will ignore shield buffs. Will ignore shield buffs. Damage increase for 20% for each buff removed by this skill. And then on his A3, attacks all enemies, has 100% 100 chance of placing a sleep debuff for one turn, will ignore 50% of the target's resistance if Oella is on the same team, fills this champion's turn meter by 15% whenever a sleep debuff placed by this skill expires. And then on his A3, which is a passive, has a 15% chance of decreasing the cooldown of one of this champion's skill by one turn every time they are healed by a continuous heal buff. This chance increases to 30% if Oella is on the same team. And then he has a 30% increase attack or 30% yeah, increase attack in all battles. So he's matched up with Oella. He's her partner, I guess you would say. And I have Oella on both of my accounts. So maybe this will be a combo that comes into play. Um, I know that Oella in the first rotation of... Uh, the Cursed City, the boss in the Cursed City, Oella was actually quite invaluable if you had her with a blessing. So potentially this guy can come in and do some work if you're forced to use her. Um, but he's not overwhelming me right now looking at his kit. Uh, not that interested, to be honest. So I might have to go off and do some research about him and maybe I'll talk about him in a future video if I decide to build him out and decide to actually use him. But I think for now it's best I... Uh, I don't think about it too much and I move on and see if we get another legendary. Yeah, I'm not sure about that guy, Oltan. I'm not I'm not not hundred percent on him. Don't know what he sort of brings to the table that anyone else can't do already. Uh Crow Dan the Blue, moving on an epic, not interested. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if there are other champions in the game that just do his job already, that have a bit more utility, M maybe. I don't know. Uh Bathus Drog Lord. Not interested. Bathus, he's an epic. I thought for a minute he was going to be that uh, that champion that does damage based on max HP. The, the the big boy. Ruella, actually a really good champion. Especially early game. If you're just getting into the game and you've pulled a Ruella, definitely use her. She's got some good debuffs on her kit. And she does uh, uh, turn meter, uh, well, turn meter feel, as you can see here. So, yeah, good champion to have on your team if you've got her. On to the next one, though. A legendary, please. Another epic. Sanguina. Sanguina was the last one. So there we have it, guys. I've got four legendaries out of 20 sacred shards. I don't I guess that is good luck. That is good luck. Um, I, I'm pretty happy with that. None of the champions that were in my sort of top five or even top ten that I really wanted and that would really sort of help progress my accounts in the game but more legendaries around the better uh, and especially if i can get some blessings on them and use them in the cursed city as that is the new content that i'm sort of trying to get through at the moment so it's always good to have more legendaries in my roster please let me know how you did in this times two sacred shard event let me know in the comments let me know if you've got any legendaries or anyone significant that's really going to help your 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 account progress forward and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time